Hello and welcome to my channel, Just Frederick. In this video, I will be going over the Fazebo desk that I purchased about a week ago. It's the game changer in my mind. Now, it is a sit stand desk. What you see here is me pulling the pad back just so you can see the texture. The texture of this one is rust brown. Excellent texture, excellent material, excellent sturdiness. I can go on and on. Now we're starting here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how this thing functions. Now, let's listen to the sound pretty soon. So if you see the lines that I'm stretching, it's made out of two parts with a split down the side. And you put a brace under to prevent sagging. So with that being said, let's listen to the sound. Okay, so that's telling you right there, it's made out of excellent material. And you see the height in the lower and the height in the highest settings there so you see it got three key memory or three preset settings so behind what you see here is me routing my keyboard cord under the desk and through my grommet which is another great feature of this disc that's the first that I'll name to you so what I'm going to do I'm going to come around from the back bring it route it back to the front what you see there and that is so neat clean that is clean now with that being said you can add a lot of things to this desk devices and so on so what you see you see my cell phone hooked up to a wireless charging pad now with that being said you see a low profile monitor arm microphone arm now we'll get to that what it is later i'm quite sure most of you know but i have a gaming keyboard made by corsair it's the km 700 or km 7000 somewhere around there and it's making that look small just look at that i'm coming from a 20 inch depth maybe 40 inches or 30 inches 38 inches real small this desk here gave me exactly what i want it increased my productivity my content creation my video contents photo everything is so much more sufficient now and what you see in here is me routing the cable through the elegato lp microphone arm and it's make that arm look really small there. However, that is a pretty nice size arm. Now, if you just take a look at that desk and just look how wide and the depth that you see, look at the width and the depth that you see, the camera doesn't do it justice at all. However, the most important part to me is cable management. The most important part to most is cable management. While you see me getting the arm set up, let's get started with this. I left some wires out by design to see what it looked cluttered. So look to the right by my PC gaming case that I built, of course. And make it look clean still with wires laying on the desk. My dummy battery that go to my mirrorless camera laying on the desk. And it don't make it look bad. I got my Echo Dot on the desk. That looks neat. And there's what I was talking about. I got my Elgato Wave XLR on the desk. I got the Stream Deck. And look at the wires behind. I even left the wires behind there my tower and it still look clean now there are pros and cons let's get started real quick with that the pros 
you can customize just about everything about this desk period pro number two is very easy to assemble it only took me like an hour to assemble number three it has three preset settings for your height and your lower height the only con about this it doesn't have a child lock setting which means if a kid get and just get to mash your buttons it's going everywhere just like it's going up right there the maximum height is 46.5 without the wheels with the wheels it's 50 inches the minimum is 27.3 now the reason I'm raising it up right there is so you can see the cable management. Now this is a work in progress. I done this by design, but look, it still look clean. Of course it's not, but I left the peripherals laying out on the right side. I got the battery pack already Velcroed up the big bricks that come with the power AC adapter from the monitors and I got a dual monitor setup vertical now what I'm showing you it only have one motor it doesn't have two so that made the price reasonable enough for me to get that had a big choice on why I got it as well so you see the velcro clips under there and what you see is my battery packs. I'm sorry, my power strips that I got velcroed up. But I did drill in it with some small screws because eventually that velcro will come down. It will start sagging. That velcro will. And on the right, I just put a little cheap power strip because that's what I hook my rgb lights my neo light thing like that you see where i just hung my headset on by the way hit that subscribe button and if you like the content and as you can see the finished product clean clean no cable nowhere i wish i could have got more in depth about this but i told you the most important part so what I want you to do, leave the comment section for, for me. I want to know what desk everybody who was watching this video got. Do you have a set step down or a sit stand desk? Do you just have a regular desk? What size is it? Things of that nature. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, and I will be back with another one. Until then, y'all have a blessed day. Peace.